Hi guys, welcome to a new video. If you don't know me, I am Fiona McGordon and welcome to my channel. This is going to be a very dedicated video to a new series on my channel called Foundation Does It Work? Foundation.com is a website that people can use to figure out what foundation shade you are in different brands. You put in um, two you already have, like I've put in my Lonco and my NARS foundation and the colours in what foundation it exactly is. And uh, they figure out, with those two colours only, what foundation shade you have in other brands. They do not have every single brand, but they have a lot of them. They have a lot of brands. So I thought I'll do a whole test video. I'm going to do high-end ones, low-end ones, middle ones, all kinds. So I'm just going to show you what they said. You can also ask them to send you an email with all the foundation shades that they request and that they think are good. So foundation, your matches from foundation, foundation.com. So my I entered NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation, Salzburg Light with Golden Undertones. That was my first foundation shade I entered because that's the one that matches me the per perfect. Then the second one was Lancome Tamidol Ultra Wear in 025 Beige Linen, UK version, of 250 Bisque W, USA version. So, that's the two foundation shades I entered. If you have more foundation shades that you can do, that match you, please enter them into the thing because you you'll get more of a perfect match. So they give me a whole list of foundation shades that would match me. There's a few concealer shades concealer shades in between there and powder foundations that I don't, I'm not going to review of course at this moment. But just to give you an example, they gave me uh, the Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion Ultra uh, Longwear Foundation in the colour 1N1 Cream, fair with neutral undertones, that's what they said about me. Or they gave me the... Too Faced Peach Perfect Comfort Matte Foundation, Peaches and Cream Collection, Porcelain Fair with Rosy Undertones. Why I don't understand that they recommend that for me, because I've got yellow undertones, so that's kind of strange. The list goes on of course, they've given me a lot of different ones, the Stila, the Smashbox, Chanel, Dior, Estee Lauder, Nars, uh, Wet n Wild, all those kind of things. A few of them on here I already actually have in that shade. And two of them I actually went and bought. They also gave me the Catrice one. Well, I'll just show you. They said that the Catrice HD Liquid Cover Foundation, this one, will be my shade in 030 Sand Beige. So I got this one today. This is only €6.99 at our drugstore in the Kraatvat. And then the tw second thing that they I recommended that I couldn't find anywhere else but in Brussels. And I was not willing to drive all the way to Brussels. Um, but I finally found in Schoten, um, a small, small shop that is, does nails, had a wee counter of it and they just had that foundation and they just had that shade so I was in so much luck. Uh, and that's the Makeup Forever Professional Ultra HD foundation in the colour Y245. They both recommended these two foundations in these two shades. And I thought I'll start with the Makeup Forever one because I think a lot more people want to see how this one works than the Catrice one. Although maybe people won't, why should I judge that? I don't know. Well, see, I'm going to try this one. As you can see, I've got not a tan one, but um, my neck's darker than my face, obviously. And I will be trying this one, the Makeup Forever one Ultra HD Invisible Cover Foundation. This was 44 euro 40 at the place I got it. I don't know if that's the same price on the actual in the actual store, but at the place I got it was 44 euro 40. The Catrice one, like I said, was 6 euro 99. So let's get into this. I am first going to prime my face, of course, with the Angel Veil from NYX, and I, and I'm just going to put that all around my face. In dots. I look strange right now. Now I'm just going to rub that in. 
So I've primed my face with NYX Angel Veil. Now I am going to take, if I can find them, all my beauty blenders. Um, I've basically got the Real Technique ones and the beauty blender. I really want to get the new beauty blender, the sapphire one. It looks so gorgeous. I'll just be using a clean Real Techniques one because I can't, I'm not, I don't want to go and clean others. If you hear that buzzing sound in the background, that's my computer being annoying. So. I have a wee jar of water here that I soak my beauty blender in. I refresh that water every day and I'm not unsanitary. So, sponge. Foundation. My wee lid. I'm going to put two pumps because it looks like a very liquid one and a very full coverage one. I'm just going to take my finger, my ring finger, my, yeah, my ring finger, even though my ring's on a different finger, my ring finger and just dab it on my face. I'm now going to zoom you in a wee bit closer. So you guys are really zoomed in there. Now I'm going to blend this out and see how it looks. From the first go, I think it looks too dark, but let's see. Okay, from the get-go, nice foundation, it's not too heavy, but it doesn't cover enough. It doesn't cover my redness here and my spots area. It's not really covering or my redness here. So I'll have to do one more pump to really cover everything. That's the best I can get it. That's my foundation done. First appearance, color doesn't actually look too bad. Maybe a tiny wee bit too dark, tiny wee bit. But I think it's kind of the right color. I think I judged too quickly. Uh, I like the foundation itself, except that it's really not that full coverage. It's okay. It's looking okay. Could be better coverage, but it's not too bad. I'll do the rest of my face and I'll get right back to you guys. So you guys, I finished my whole face. Uh, I did a very nice golden look with just my natural lashes, my eyebrows, some highlights, some contour, natural, I've not done a lip. See, I always forget the lip, I don't know why. Maybe because my boyfriend hates if I'm like lipstick. I'm gonna put this Lancome shaker in the color Boom Meringue 313. This oil thing on my lips just to get them hydrated and just give them a wee glow. My final review on this foundation and then the website foundation for the first time um, that's a match I did not swatch this in the store I went to the counter I looked up what the shade was that they recommended I took it I said I'm paying for this one and it matches it actually matches my neck it looks good on camera it's not my ideal foundation, but foundation.com, you did your job well. Everybody um, who has difficulty finding the foundation shade online because you can't buy it somewhere in stores, uh, please, I please, please beg you to look up as much as you can to make sure that you're making the right decision because I know how frustrating it is to get a foundation that doesn't match and that you actually just have to put there, lay there and you can't do anything with if you're not a makeup artist at least. You can resell but then still you will never get the value back that you paid for it. So please do your research people. I would recommend foundation.com already for the makeup for everyone. Um, the more foundation shades you have that actually match, that you know that matches, to put into foundation.com, the more chance you'll have on the right foundation color for any of the foundations. Next video we're going to see about the Catrice one. I'll put a poll up to ask you if you want me to review the foundation, does it work, Laura de Mercier one, the Flawless Fusion, uh, and if you have any other suggestions please leave it in the comments down below. Like this video if you want me to get on with this series and you really want to know more about foundation, foundation and how to 
do the foundation to get the right shade for you. If you want to also know more about how to apply foundation, like this video down below and I'll make a dedicated uh, video about your skin type and what foundations will work for you. I'll even try to get my mother to come into the video because she's got a totally different skin type as me. She's got an older skin too. She's got more mature skin so she'll be good for the more mature people that watch me. Now I appreciate everybody who supports me in this. Please like this video like I already said. Subscribe to my channel that helps me out so much and please share this video with as many people as you can and as you want. I love you guys. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Love you. Mwah.